Up. Come on. Come on. Oof. Good. Oh. So, you clicked onto this video wanting to know whether Bradley Martin, the Bradley Martin, is natural or not. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> well, you are in luck because today I'm going to fill you in. Now, don't mind everything that's going on up here. I know it looks like I've been stoned hotboxing my car for the last three days. Or maybe I did hotbox a car for three days. I don't know. FBI, open up! But what I do know is whether Bradley Martin is natural or not. So I'm gonna jump into this situation from an outsider's perspective, just get rid of all the information I already know about Brad. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will actually get Brad to admit on camera what his actual cycle is. Now from that statement, you're probably saying there, Kenny, you just basically said that Bradley Martin's not natural. Ah, you're catching on quick. So is Bradley Martin natural or not? So is Bradley Martin natural? Just gifted with the best genetics of all time. Just a descendant of Achilles, Hercules, every great physique to ever be alive. Did all that magnificence all boil down in the melting pot into creating Bradley Martin? Or did he just go out and get the formula and then stick it into his glutes? I know it's a tough question, and I know I've done plenty of natural or nots in the past, but I know with certainty every single natural or not I have ever produced on this channel, I have been 100% right now like i said i already know some information pertaining to this subject on this video but i'm going to try and do it from an outsider's perspective here you can see a picture of brad in 2010 versus 2020 and let me just state in 2010 you can tell bradley martin had great genetics for bodybuilding for those of you who don't know or for some reason maybe aren't aware brad is very tall i believe he's maybe 6'3 or guess anywhere in the 260 to maybe 270 range but his 10-year transformation is pretty incredible now i also want to throw in regardless that i think bradley martin is unnatural i know plenty of people myself included who could take the gear and everything and still never look like Brad. There's a very common theme I've been seeing lately where people think because someone has some good genetics or above average genetics, then they take gear that they become the next Mr. Olympia. Look, I know people who are on way more extreme cycles than Bradley Martin who look nowhere near, nowhere, I say nowhere near Bradley Martin. But yet those people are taking Trend, Winstrol, high dose tests, and I am telling you like absurd dosages. But for what I can pick up and what I've seen with Brad and how he's able to maintain his physique year round, I'm gonna go out in a limb and say he's most likely TRT with low dose blasting and cruising, you know, different uh, compounds. Who knows exactly what compounds they would be. But for instance, I don't think our boy Bradley Martin's going out and just taking a gram of trend directly in the glute. Because like I mentioned, I mean, if you jump back to his picture in 2010, he has great arms, great shoulders. You can already see the chest. He's got the height. He has a good structure for bodybuilding and for building a physique. So Brad on Google search is around the age of 30. I know he's a boomer, but I must say for a boomer, Bradley Martin is just killing it. As for the numbers Bradley Martin puts up in his lifts, I, I can't really say that someone is on something or not based on their lifts. I've stated this in numerous videos in the past, solely because I've seen some incredibly strong people who I know for a hundred percent fact are natural. I know with legitimacy, they've never taken anything. And let me say they put up some extreme numbers. So I've never really factored in whether someone's natural or not into the numbers they pull. I think it's just a little bit easier to spot whether someone's natural or not based on their physique and their body composition. He's not fluctuating like a lot of people do when they come off cycle, they lose a bunch of weight, a ton of muscle, then they go back on and blow back up. Brad is very consistent. So I will give him that. And like I mentioned, that all boils down into Brad taking low dose cycles, whatever they may be, and probably and most likely, like I mentioned, TRT. So it raises the question, with Brad being a fitness influencer, having his YouTube channel for as long as he has, and with natural or not being a prevalent topic or becoming more popular, why has Brad not talked about it? I mean, it really all boils down to business. Um, steroids for many of you who may not know are still illegal so that's point number one point number two is with businesses and everything he's trying to do and promote and his audience who i know is going to be probably 20 to 30 range maybe even some in the high school range 
it's not a good thing, I guess, necessarily, if you have a big influence to go out talking about exactly what you're on, because then you're gonna have people going out into the black market, buying everything that you said you're taking, and then just doing the same thing. Now, point number three is I don't believe Brad claims natural. I've never seen him claim natural to me. I've never seen him claim natural in videos. I haven't seen it in posts. Maybe you could find one from five, 10 years ago. I don't know how long, but as of recently, I don't see him claim it. So you can't bash him for that. And that's not the reason I'm making this video. It's not like Brad went on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or TikTok and went out and said, world, I am natural. It's just honestly one of the most requested I've got. <laughs> and it's kind of shocking because to me, I look at a picture or someone on social media and I almost know instantly. Like, okay, give me this picture, this picture, this picture, maybe five pictures total. I will know whether someone's natural or not. But I guess I get it. You know, maybe if you're new, never been in the scene, never seen someone who has taken versus who hasn't, and you have no idea. Now, if you were hoping to click onto this video, just praying and typing, Bradley Martin is my savior. He's got the genetics of an absolute God. I would cherish him and I would do anything for him because I know he's natural and I'm gonna achieve the same thing one day. Then I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, um, Bradley Martin isn't natural. Now let's have a little fun, just a little guessing. What do I think Bradley Martin's dosage would be of TRT? I'm going to say Bradley Martin's cycle would be anywhere from 200 to 250 per week based on his size and weight. And then as I mentioned, who really knows what compounds, whether that's Anavar, D-Ball, DECA, Winstraw, Trend, who really knows what little compounds he's throwing in there, SARMs, Prohormones. There's no way to really pinpoint exactly what someone is taking. But I don't think he's taking watery compounds because Brad, I'm looking at his profile right now, scrolling. I don't see any pictures where he looks watery or like he's retaining a lot of water. So most likely my guess would be drying compounds or DHT derivatives, or it could just be testosterone right now. I mean, who really knows? Just the simple matter, I think a lot of people underestimate the power of testosterone. Just 200 to 250 milligrams per week can yield like extreme results. So what information are you take away from this video? Just keep an open mind. Know that Bradley Martin is a boomer. This is not at all a video to bash, discredit Bradley. It's just honestly one of the most requested I get for the natty or not. I and mean, I thought it'd be a good topic because I thought it would be a no brainer whether Brad's natural or not, but apparently there's still people out there and hopefully those people are watching this video. So now they know with certainty that yeah, Bradley Martin's not natural. Before we close out guys, there's some new Half Wicked merch patch in the upper left. But if you wanna head into the description down below and see what new design was dropped, then please do and also know 10% of the proceeds will go to charity. Uh, and what else can I say to pass some time? Oh yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And also, as I mentioned, jumping back to the beginning, if this video gets 10,000 likes, 10,000 likes, we will get Bradley Martin to come on camera and actually say what he is taking. But the video has to get 10,000 likes. So I appreciate you guys, all the support, always using the affiliate codes, always supporting me on the channel. And yeah, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Oh yeah. And just remember, uh, be careful.